I should have said there was going to be more than two videos. I thought maybe I'd do this all in one. But there, you see what I did? I turned it on its side and uh, was able to jockey those into position. Now, I've got a lot of glue squeeze out. This is a water based glue, so all I got to do is take some of this water I keep around and get in after that. Wipe that off the surfaces. This is way more important. Um, when pieces are raw, it comes off real easy when pieces are finished, but when pieces are raw, you have to get the glue off, especially if you're staining, because it will not take stain. And even if you're, pr you're just finishing it natural, it will also not take finish very good, and it will leave a bright spot or a kind of a yellowish spot, so you have to make sure you get all this glue off whenever you do this. Now naturally being this is finished, I don't have to worry about finishing over top of it, but I do have to worry about leaving glue drippings. That doesn't look very professional. It's kind of like a kid walking around with a snotty nose. Okay, unfortunately it is very hot in the showroom again tonight and I'm sweating, so I'm also dripping onto the project here, so I got to keep that wiped up too. Now I'm going to flip this over and do the other one. This is going to be a little bit trickier. Don't want to do that. Let me see if I can move the camera angle a little bit. some thunder rumbling, rumbling outside so uh, maybe we're get, we'll get a little relief here. We've got severe thunderstorm warnings down here. Okay. Now I did the last time, see if I can hold this kind of with my hip until I flip this over. I dispersed one in. Seated. There you have it. Just a little bump of a hand, and uh, wipe this glue a little bit. Okay, there will be a little bit of final glue squeeze out to get out here in a little bit, but okay, I'll catch that a little after. Slide this back over. I'm going to readjust the camera here. Um, okay. There. Now you can see it all. Now it's of critical importance that these two legs be square in here with the rest of the thing. So I made this little four square. And I'm just going to put this down over top. If I did this right, it should fit right over there, like so. That will keep it square. Um, I'm also going to get a clamp and pull here and here to pull these together. Then I'm going to turn this around here, or I'll maybe lay it, lay it off the table. And uh, I do have to make one other check here as far as these legs go making sure they are right on where they're supposed to be. Now they really look quite good so that's a good sign. 